Hi Leo, this is going to be your weekly love reading. I feel like somebody's life right now when it comes to love, whatever energy is surrounding, this could be you or your person. I feel like this is somebody else, okay? Totally could be you. Definitely we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy out here in air sign, okay? So the situation involves an air sign. Let's keep it there. Whoever, okay, is involved in this situation, somebody's life is really, really like going pretty bad right now. I, I always try to find like the positive in every situation, but I, bro, I don't see the positive in this situation at all. I don't even feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is somebody's energy that you haven't talked to. I don't know what they got going on in their life, honey, but let me just explain to you what, what's going on. Someone here is having money financial issues, okay? They don't have enough money to pay their bills. They are robbing P Peter to pay Paul. They are doing everything they can. They could be loaning money from friends. If this person is loaning money from friends and family, I feel like whoever they're loaning money from or whoever is helping them or whoever they're asking, hey, can I just get X, Y, and Z? You know, this is reminding me of Chris Rock. What was that? Was it Juice? What movie was that? I don't know. Anyway, I mean, if y'all ever watched the skit uh, in Living Color when Chris Rock was on it for like a hot minute, he used to be like, oh, I got five dollars. If the rib is five dollars, I got 50 cents. Let me get the, the burnt end of the, of the rib. Like somebody's just struggling with money. Somebody could need bail money too. Somebody could have borrowed bail money here from a friend and somebody here I feel like is a, have, has a friend or family member who is really, really telling their business with this whistleblowing energy. Somebody here, it can't keep a secret. They're telling all their business and they're exposing this person's like negative, the things that are happening negatively and the drama in this person's life. They're shady. Whoever this friend is, you cannot trust them. This could be you or this could be your person. I don't really feel like you guys know or was, you're not involved in this. But whoever this person is, they're wearing a false mask. They're acting like they're this person's friend when they're really not their friend, but they're telling their business behind their back and they are throwing the rock and hiding their hand, honey. I'm telling you, they're giving the impression that, oh, I'm your friend. We're, we're good. You can trust me. Yeah, I got you, bro. Yeah, I got you, sis. Yes, we. I'm going to take care of you. We, I'm going to help you win. I'm always going to be there for you in, in your time of need. No, they're not. This, this person is untrustworthy. You cannot trust them. So this is you. Pay attention to the people around you. It's the person who's helping you, but they are deceiving you at the same time and talking about you. So if you run into these people about your problems, they're telling other people your business. So do not trust them. Go to God, okay? Go to your ancestors. Pray about it. Talk talk to God or your spirit team about it, honey. I'm telling you, this person is a fake friend. Like, literally, this energy came out. We have fake friend here. We have shady. We have whistleblower. And we have broke, okay? This is just a friend who's not genuine. I, I, they, it's, you know what I'm getting? At some point, this is somebody here who ran the streets with them or with you. Y'all had a good time. Somebody spent racks. Somebody spent big, big, big bank. Takes a little bank. I feel like when this person was up and stuck, it was doing, they were doing good. They didn't have money problems. This person was alone for the ride. They were there helping them spending this person's money, having a good time. They were. Now that they're going through some form of financial issues, this person's an issue. And I'm just going to tell you like this. who You know, whoever it is, I feel like that's having money problems. Because I don't want to talk about people like, you know, this is not fun. You know, having money issues. We want to wish the best on everybody. We don't want people to have to experience this issue. But, I mean, to experience these challenges. But let's be real. This is a, obviously a lesson because someone here was not making the right decisions. They were out here in the streets worried about how something looked. What was going on. I don't know. For whatever reason. I, I, I feel like this person was, tr it ain't tricky if you got it. You know what I'm talking about. It ain't tricky if you got it. Well, I feel like here someone was in the energy of tricking. 
But do you really have it? It ain't tricking if you got it. You, you give me drill if you follow me where I'm going with this. Okay, I'm just saying. You understand? I'm just letting you know. So the situation, this person, I feel like they allow sex, you know, and money, lust and passion, physical attraction, or, uh, you know, just energy of like whoever was paying them attention or whatever looked good, wasn't good for them. They could be, this person was used. But I also feel like someone got attention because of what they either A, how they looked, or this person only cared about, the person who's broke only cared about how somebody looked. They only went for the the woman or the man that looked a certain way or, you know, had a certain, drove a certain car or did a certain thing or looked a certain way, had a BBL or drove a Ferrari, whatever it is, okay? I, I, it's, this is true. It's, Back, it's a backfire from some, for somebody. But anyway, it's energy of drama. So that's what this person is going through. It could be you. All right. So let me get some energy on this air sign, please, Holy Spirit. Make sure you guys hit the like button here if this is resonating for you. Um, and support the channel. I really do appreciate you guys, okay? I really do from the bottom of my heart. If you are a returning subscriber or you've just been here before, I really do appreciate you guys and love you. So, show me the energy of this air sign right now, please. All right. Th this person stressing out. Bank account on zero. Going through it. Huh? Where is everybody when I need them? You said you were gonna have my bag, not a swords. The tower. Someone could have Scorpio in their chart. This is Scorpio energy, the nine of swords. This person is going through so much, so much. This is some upheaval. Somebody is really struggling. Their life is, it's giving shambles. And I really kind of low key feel bad for this person. But here's the thing. Someone is getting karma. Someone is getting karma here. They, I don't know. They feel very, very, and, and look at this. Somebody wants to rush in towards a divine feminine here. So this person may want to rush back towards you to ask for help. But you walked away, eight of cups. You walked away, Taurus energy with the Empress. Yeah, that's what I get. Show me more here on this air sign energy. And if you're not dealing with the air sign, this person could just have air in their chart, okay? Um, this could have been somebody here who was cold, aloof, very smart, but I feel like this person's ego is bigger than, you know, it took control, it took, took, the, took the driver's wheel here. So, yeah, it's giving a little bit of narcissism, but now you're, you gotta pay back this karma, baby. Huh, okay. Why is the air sign energy here? Pisces energy here, the high priestess. This person has a lot of secrets. I'm telling you somebody's telling somebody's business. Whatever secrets they done told somebody, the secrets came out. And it, it, it is embarrassing this person. It's giving this person some anxiety. I'm telling you, whatever secrets this person had, thank you, spirit, these secrets came out. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. I was not expecting that, but it's this makes sense. This energy is in alignment with what we're talking about here, okay? I feel like people are gossiping up in in Yeah, remember he spent all that money on blah 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 blah. Yeah, remember she she did this and this and this and we told him not to do it or hell, I feel like these people they were in the Ferrari looking good and having a great time at the, at the moment back then when this happened. But honey, mm, the money ran dry. The money ran dry. Show me more about this air sign energy, please. Ooh, the money ran dry. Devil energy. It, I, I, it. Capricorn. Honey. Ooh, I mean, this air sign energy. Somebody got some debt to pay. Stay clear, far away from this person if this because this person is going through it. Five of Cups. They're going through it. And I feel like they're definitely going through it and they want to talk to you bad. 
they regret how they treated you. You, for some of y'all, you may have even warned this person about these friends. You could have warned this person about this behavior. You could have said that person's not your friend, or maybe you didn't tell them and you really wanted to tell them, but they were so narcissistic, narcissistic you could tell their ass anything. All right, uh, uh, okay, so let's see here. Give me one on the tower, please. Let's clarify these majors. Give me one on the tower. Listen, <laughs> four of wands. This tower hit, somebody could be sick. Somebody could be down on their luck. Somebody could just, there's nothing they could do about it. It's the energy I'm getting. Give me one more on the tower, please. There's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, they can't do nothing about it. For somebody, hold on. Drop the card. For somebody, Ten of Wands, this person here might have to leave their home. They are overburdened. Honey, they have created so many problems. I hope they're not trying to come towards you. I hope they're not trying to come towards you in this energy, hoping that you're going to fix this. Let's see what this Empress is about here. Show me on this Empress, please. Why is the Empress here? What's the Empress energy? Oh, Death card in reverse Scorpio energy. They, they can't let go of you. They can't let go of you. All right, they don't want this to be over. I'm telling you they're about to come towards you. I hope they don't come towards you and ask you to help them or their only reason why they're here <laughs> asking for help is because they need help. See, here's the thing. This is the type of person here who's not gonna come right out. They're not gonna be forthright because the four of swords is here, the high priestess is here, the seven of swords is here, and the devil is here. They are not going to be forthright about what happened, about all this drama happening in the background. They're not going to tell you what's going on. You may have to hear this second hand from someone else collective. Like, they're going to come towards you because they need your healing energy or they need your money or you're doing good. You're in Empress Energy. Show me the Empress Energy, please. No. Three of Swords. I'm telling you, heartbroken. Now, some of y'all could be, this person could be heartbroken that they can't move on from you. Or you may be heartbroken that this person really hasn't changed. And you know they need to change or they're not making the right decision. Somebody here could be a Libra or a Scorpio or a Libra Cusper, Scorpio Cusper. Um, why is the High Priestess here? I'm telling you. It's life in shambles, honey. It's just, it's, yeesh. Why is the high priestess here? I'm telling you, this is that, that masculine Aries energy. This masculine is... They're hiding secrets. This masculine business came out here. Child, look at this. Ten, ten of swords and the hangman. Definitely could be dealing with a Pisces or an air sign, but you can be dealing with anybody. I, this person is really thinking about what they can do to come back to you. They are thinking about how they can get in touch with you, what lie they can tell to get your help or just get your light, your love, your empathy, and your healing, okay? And to be in your presence. They think they are thinking about you um, in the past and the shit that they've done. Show me more on this high priestess, please. So now we have the emperor and the empress out here. Show me this high priestess energy. Queen of Cups. This person's thinking about you. They're thinking about you. Oh my gosh, look at that. Queen of Cups. They want your love. They want your empathy. They want, they want you to take care of them, rescue them, nurture them, you know, lick their wounds. Where, were, where the hell were they? Huh? They were over here spending money, making it rain. Show, show me the devil energy, please. No. Show me devil. It's a straight no. The truth came out. The truth is being revealed, honey. I don't know what else to say. The hermit Virgo energy here. Mm, 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 mm. Ace of Swords and the hermit. Mm. This 
person knows the truth, but I just feel like they're not going to say it and speak it. Even if they do end up communicating with, with you, or even if they end up contacting you, they are not going to tell the truth. They're going to keep all this shit. They're not going to tell you the truth about what's going on. Their ego will not allow them to. Show me one more on the devil here. What, what, what's this Ace of Swords about with the devil here? So some shit is coming to light. It's coming out. Yep. Juggling the, all the stuff that they did. Two of Pentacles put you in a third party situation. Wanting to be out here in these streets. And just and just show anybody attention. Give anybody money. Spend any money on anybody. And anything that breathed their way. And smiled at them. That had a BBL. Two of Pentacles. The thing is, this person still doesn't know what they want to do. I feel like they still don't know what they want to do with you. All they know is they need your energy. They need your love. They need your tender love and care. They need your TLC. They need your empathy. They need you to be in this Empress energy and this Queen of Cups energy, loving, mothering energy, nursing their ass back to health. But they still don't know shit. All they really truly know is, oh... There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry. Divine Feminine will take care of me. Divine Masculine will take care of me. You know, I'm just... I don't know. I just saw a Libra Energy Justice card and a Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the day. I, 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 some of y'all, somebody could have juggled you with other people. If somebody could be getting a divorce. Yeah. So let's let me clarify this lover since we got the lovers out here. Why is the lovers here? And then I'll clarify the hermit. Gemini energy, by the way. More Gemini energy, um, magician, and the six of swords. They feel like you've moved on and they're trying to do see whatever it is they can do to convince you to come back. What can they do to stop you from moving on? Show me this hermit. Show me the hermit. They feel like you moved on. The hermit, they want to apologize and they re want to reunite. They want to communicate. This person is thinking about it. They haven't done this yet. I really feel like they haven't done this yet. They do want to apologize with this page of cups being here. Four of Wands is like, okay, I, I really want. They may even want to come say I'm sorry and come live with you. Some of y'all, they may have to live with you or ask you for a place to stay because they need a damn place to stay. Travel towards you, the world. I don't like it. Show me this magician. Why is a magician here? Show me the magician. Some of y'all dealing with a um, air sign. I mean, not air sign. Maybe you are, definitely. But I meant to say a Leo. Queen of Wands and a Justice card. Definitely could be a Libra. The magician is clarified by the Queen of Wands and the Justice card. So they may want to bring a balance back into a situation with a queen of wands, a, a fire sign. You could be a fire sign or this is them. They definitely are holding on to you. Okay. But I feel like there, there was definitely somebody else. This person had tons of options, tons of options, but they're still holding on to you and they really don't know what they want with you. I'm telling you they don't. Okay. If they come back towards you, they do not have a clear indication of what it is that they want to do when it comes to a future. Do they love you? Yes, they do. I just don't feel like they have much intentions. King of Pentacles, they could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn here or y'all. I just, they do definitely want to talk. They do. I feel like you're going to be extremely skeptical. Extremely skeptical of this situation. Show me more here. I'm telling y'all, whoever this person is, especially with the um, with the emperor being here, this is somebody who I feel like was a narcissist. They love to have control over a situation, or this person still feels like you're going to come and take care of them and be in this queen of cups energy. And I feel like you're not. You're just not. Hold on. Some of y'all are dealing with a fire sign. Definitely Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be a fire sign, okay? 
or you could have a fire sign stalking you looking at your page on social media they haven't said anything to you yet like i said but they're definitely keeping tabs on you trying to figure out when figure out when is the right time i can go towards the collective you know and oof, child i just yeah they're paying attention to what you have going on because they know you're doing good you're in this queen bee energy out here on beyonce's internet looking you up and watching you just level up boss up you're focusing on your money you're focusing on your career your job your family for some of y'all you are single mothers and you're actually doing quite well for yourselves here or you may help people for a living or work with people for a living you're a healer you are creating abundance in your life you have a very very good reput reputation Whoever I'm talking to, you have a very good reputation. This is the opposite. You're the opposite of what this person got going on. You have a very good reputation. Honey, look at you. You are loved by God. Look at that. Queen B energy. Empress. Queen of Cups. Okay. Some of y'all go to church where you just, you know, you have a strong, a strong belief system. Which is, you know, another reason why you had to let this person go at another time. Because it seems, seems seems to me to be like, you're not even dealing with this person anymore. You know, this person could have came across as like they had it all together. I feel like they did. I feel like they came across as like they were God-fearing or, um, you know, faithful. Never did anything wrong. I mean, they was a good man, you know, or a good woman. It could be further from the damn truth. Lies. You know, sometimes the people in the church who claim they so spiritual and, and religious is the ones that's out here doing the most. Okay, and Spirit said, be quiet. <laughs> I dropped, I almost dropped this whole deck. I'm sorry, Spirit, but it's, tr it's true. Show me more here. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Scorpio, definitely Aries, Leo, Sage, um, Somebody might be having to seriously move and relocate and, and get get out. And get out. I feel like if this person comes towards you, they come to your house. Some of y'all may have this person blocked. That could be why they haven't communicated with you yet. And that's why they're lurking in the background, stalking you and trying to figure out the right time to come towards you on your Instagram, on your TikTok or Facebook, wherever you could be, where they have access to you or have a fake account or wherever they can ask somebody else to, to look you up and see what you have going on. You're not going to allow this person into your home or this is spirit saying, do not allow a person to come into your home. Don't allow this person to spend the night because you know, if you let some nowadays, if you let somebody spend the night over to your house, honey, and they bring an overnight bag or they bring that duffel, that whole bag or whatever it is y'all want to call it. Let's be real. Let's be grown. You you know they, they they you can't make their ass leave. You gotta get a eviction and take them to court. Once that person is there for so a certain amount of time, you, they might just say, "Hey, can I lay my head down here for? I need a week." Or they might not even tell you why. They might just be like, "Can we spend some time together? I got some extra time on my hands. Can I come stay with you?" And you might be nice enough, or they think you will be nice enough. And then boom, you're like, "I can't get this motherfucker out of my house." But y'all, the spirit is saying, no, B block. Access is denied. <clears throat> somebody could be here. Y'all have strong soul ties with this person. They could be somebody here who was a twin flame, a soulmate. Water sign energy is here. Okay, so we have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And we do have a lot of Scorpio and Cancer energy out here. And Pisces, too, because the um, High Priestess is here with Queen of Cups, too. Um, so, just apply this where it fits. I'm telling you, somebody here is definitely having legal issues, okay? Somebody either, A, could have lost a house in a divorce, okay? Um, somebody could be getting sued. Somebody could be going to court. Somebody, like I said, could have need to be bailed out of jail. Um, somebody definitely probably needs a lawyer, okay? I mean, a contract that is just... When what they thought it was, somebody could have made a bad investment. I don't know. It's just not. Somebody made a bad choice. Now we have snooping. Always in your business. Acts about you. Looking over your shoulder in details. I'm telling you, they are just like all up in your business. Watching you on social media. 
whoever this person's friends are, laughing at their ass is what I'm getting. I feel like you guys are minding your own business. Look at this glowed up energy with low key. You, you see what I'm saying? You are you are God's child collective. You are showing up here with this Empress energy and Queen of Cups. You're minding your business. Okay, you're tending to your garden, you're tending to your children, you are tending to your legacy, you are tending to your projects, you're tending to your own business, your money, your bank account, you're tending to your mind, your heart, your body, your spirit, you're doing good, physically and mentally, transforming for the better, looking yourself in the mirror and making a change. And you know what the good thing about it is? You in this energy, and you ain't even said nothing to nobody. Some of y'all haven't posted anything on social media. Y'all been quiet. You've been minding your business, and you're doing good, and you're doing a great job at it, might I add you. You've been very low-key. You're like, I don't need any attention. You are someone here who does not require attention. Now, somebody over here needed attention. They love attention. They soaking it up like SpongeBob. You are under the radar, not giving yourself away, being yourself, not causing any attention or bringing any attention to yourself. However, you're doing amazing. Okay. <laughs> this is a good reading. I mean, I'm a, we won't pray for them. Lord, Heavenly Father, we, we send them love and light. We also hope they, le they learn a lesson. Okay. Thank you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Beautiful by Tweet is on right now. So somebody, this person definitely feels like you're beautiful. But see, here's the key to that. You're beautiful on the inside and out. Your spirit and your soul is beautiful. But whatever this person had going on in the 3D, so shady, fake energy, only worried about lust, only worried about somebody with a BBL. And I'm not saying all people with BBLs are like, lusty or they're not great people that's not what i mean y'all know what i mean okay so please don't take that personal i don't i don't look down on anybody that has a bbl i'm just saying these are superficial energies this person was very superficial and so were the people they were dealing with who was giving them this attention it was only for one thing it was for money or they were in a this what's between their legs so now this person <laughs> Listen, you met this person and you were meant to be alone right now so you can thrive on your own. You realized that nobody was going to be your hero. But here it is that this divine masculine is trying to run and rush back in and this knight of swords energy towards you and, and, and they want you to be their hero. But see, it's almost like you, you got the lesson. You got the lesson of independence. You got the lesson. Somebody's birthday could be in April. You got this lesson of independence. You understood that nobody was going to be rescuing you. You figured it out on your own. You transformed your life. You learned the lesson, right? Um, you knew you had to be your own hero and thrive by your own doing. You didn't have anybody to depend on. Where was this person when you needed them? You know? Hmm. Anyway, I feel like, you know, you doing your healing work and I think you're doing a great job at it right now. You could be definitely, you could be a November Scorpio because this is November at the bottom of the deck. All right. You're healing. You're still in the process of healing. Don't rush it. Spirit tells, is telling me to tell you, don't rush this. Okay. Trust the process. Work through it and learn from it. And I feel like you already kind of have already been in this energy. You've been there. You're doing this right now. You know, you're doing this right now. And Spirit is saying, hey, slow and steady wins the race. It, the, the healing process is not quick. Okay. This is, there's no sonic boom in healing. This shit does not happen overnight. I don't care if somebody like came back and told you, oh, I did the healing work. I've changed. And it was two weeks ago. Baby, baby, no. It's just a no. All right. You may still have struggle with, I feel like some of y'all collective are still going to struggle with old fears and that's normal. You're human. Time is really going to be the best thing for you. Um, and just getting to know yourself all over again. Um, and just don't rush it. Just take your time. Now, for some of y'all, this person may come back in between now and April. Okay. Or between now and the next six months. 
and you may think about giving this a try but the spirit is saying hey you need to take it slow and steady take it extremely slow and steady all right um get to know who they really really are before you make any any decisions or let this person back into your heart yeah, see, we have toxic behavior, toxic traits and patterns denied for your highest good, not in this lifetime. Prot protection. You're pro you're going to feel very protective over who you are now, right? Because you did all this work. So a lot of y'all know, but I'm telling you, somebody has some toxic friends or a toxic friend because toxic behavior and friendship came out together. They want to be friends first and take it slow to build a solid foundation. So this person, for some of y'all, may say, oh, let me show you. I've changed. Let's just be friends. Let's just be celibate. And you can totally do that. You can. Um, but for some of y'all, this person, I definitely know they have a toxic friend. And, and they have a lot of drama going on in their life. You and this person could have trauma bonded, too. But see, here's the way you dealt with your trauma was through being overly empathic, over giving, over loving, being too nurturing, too being too available. Y'all y'all hear me? I'm not I've been there. I know. You can't fix everybody and help everybody. Sometimes you just got to let the hurt dogs lay in the street and holler. Somebody will come get them. Okay? Animal somebody will call animal control. Um just continue to do your healing work, baby. I don't know. New, you got a new beginning coming in. <laughs> this person is really hoping, though, they can have a new beginning with you. They hope that you're going to give them a fair chance. But see, here's the thing. It depends on how what you deem as fair. It depends on what you deem as fair. Spirit is really telling you there is nothing else for you to do collective. Uh, there was nothing you could have done differently about the situation when dealing with this person, okay? It was, the challenge was there. You were meant to meet them to learn this lesson and to be your own hero, just period. Now, this person is going to have to be Captain America, okay, or, and, and figure it out on their own, too, okay? Because you already got the S on your chest. Believe that. True love. They realized they loved you after they lost you. Now they're feeling very regretful. Five of Cups energy. Already out here. We know. Thank you, Spirit. We know. So Spirit is saying there's nothing else to do. There was nothing else you could have done differently about the situation. You showed up the way that you were supposed to. In 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 essence, that means you did you did every you did the right thing by showing up the way that you did. Don't change for anybody. Continue to be who you are. It's just about who you show up for. It's about being that for other people, right? And knowing, okay, I'm being myself, but does this person deserve what I have to give? No, they don't. Okay, bye. Chalk, chalk it up. Chalk it up. Let's see what they want to say to you. What does this person want to say to you? I want to make you happy. I miss your smile. I wish you were here with me. I regret what I did to you. I'm afraid of commitment and I'm caught up in a karmic relationship. So some of y'all, they're caught up in a karmic relationship and they are about to get kicked out of their house or lose their house. They are about to get a divorce for some of y'all. But for some of y'all, I really feel like this person is for real. They weren't in a commitment. They're afraid of commitment. And they were dealing with multiple people. And the only thing that caught this person's attention is a nice ass and some, you know what, or lust, passion, somebody who showed them the wrong attention and used them. Um, and now this person sitting back and wanting this Queen of Cups and uh, Empress energy. All right. So everybody, you know, they, and you're always on this person's mind. They're always thinking about you. There's never not a moment they're not in this deep, deep regret. But that's unfortunate. You know, this is this is them. Sleep, sleep at night. Well, if they can't sleep, because I don't really feel like they can't sleep. Shit. Somebody else crying their ass to sleep at night. Mm, mm. Look. Look. Hmm. Karma's a real thing, boy. Some people really think 
the karma never gonna catch up with them. Some really pe some people really do think that. You know, sometimes God allows certain things to happen. God allows certain people to continue certain behavior because oh, you think you got it? Oh, you think you can do this by yourself? Oh, you think you're better than everybody else? Or whatever it could be, right? Because it's going to be different for everybody. But God will sit back and allow young angels, your spirit team will sit back and allow somebody to collect all this karmic debt and they won't say nothing about it. It might be a year. It might be two years. It might be three years. But honey, better believe that all this is going to come back on you. But God bless them. <sighs> Lord, we thank you. All right, y'all. I love you. Um, good night. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel.